Welcome to the Midcoast Member Minute. I'm Corey King, Executive Director of the Southern Midcoast Main Chamber. These videos are a great way to get an inside look at some of our great business members. Here's a video of a Brunswick business now. Do you want to know how to make some great drinks to impress your friends? We're here inside the Coast Bar and Bistro, which is inside the Daniel in Brunswick, to learn how to make some tasty concoctions from a local pro. Let's check it out. Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming. Hi, Chris the bartender here from the Coast Bar and Bistro at the Daniel Hotel. Uh, here to make, uh, show you guys a couple of cocktails today. Cocktails that are very easy to make but hard to master. Uh, we've got a couple of them today. We're going to make a uh, dirty martini and then we're also going to make the Manhattan. All right, folks, now I'm going to teach you how to make the perfect Manhattan. So what we're going to do is, you again, you want to start off with your chilled water or ice glass. You're going to throw some ice in your shaker cup. You're going to add three ounces of your favorite whiskey, brandy, or bourbon. Then you're going to take a good sweet vermouth. We use an Antigua Pharma here. You're going to add about an ounce of that. And then a couple dashes of your bitters. Now bitters, that's just an additive, right? That is. That is an air, it's an aromatic bitters. You can find it at any grocery store, any place that sells alcohol. And it does add a little bit of a spice, a little flavor to it. Okay. Now with Manhattans, you want to always stir. You never want to shake a Manhattan. So you want to give it a stir. About 10 stirs. I'm going to take your strainer. Dump your ice. I've always been told a good thing is to add the cherry first because it is a flavor enhancer. And then you'll pour out That's your perfect Manhattan. Oh, oh my God, poor. So what are some mistakes that some people often make when you either of these drinks? A lot of people do, don't realize that uh, your sweet vermouth, or, or both of your vermouths, are actually a fortified wine. So it is good to keep these on uh, in a cold area, whether it be in your refrigerator or even in a basement or something like that. It's good to keep these cold because they will break down over time. So that is one thing that, you know, if somebody hasn't made a Manhattan in a long time and they've had some sweet vermouth standing around their house, might not taste as good as it would if you had a fresh bottle, keep it chilled. Um, that's a good trick from the pros. That's good to know. Well, Chris, this was great. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, thank you, Corey. Uh, so when can, if people have questions about how to make their favorite drink, when can they find you, you guys down here? Uh, we're open every day at 1130. We're open till 9 o'clock, Sunday through Wednesday, uh, 10 o'clock, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We do have happy hour every day from Monday through Friday, uh, 3 to 6. And we also have live music, uh, 6 to 9 and 7 to 10, Thursday and Friday, respectively. With professional bartenders behind the bar to answer all your questions. True story. Chris, thanks a lot. Thank you, Corey. Appreciate have a good one. Cheers. Thank you for watching this Midcoast Member Minute. To find out more about any of our member businesses, you can log on to www.midcoastmain.com.